Good afternoon. This is Crystal with Crystal's Creations. Wipe off. How are you all doing? I hope you guys are having a good Sunday. Um, I am trying to have a good Sunday. No, I just got everything prepared. We are going to make a really fun fold card that I just learned how to make because I have to make a couple birthday cards. So I might as well make one birthday card today, get it done because I have to get this in the mail and it's got to get mailed to Florida. So I need to get it in the mail. So we are going to make a card and it is called a pinwheel tower card. And I, you know, I, I, I like to make the five by sevens and I like to make the four and a quarter by five and a half. And I like to make the slim lines of all sizes and all that. And I like to make see-through cards and everything too. And I like to make my diorama window box cards and all that, that you, that you call those things and everything and other fancy cards, but I also like to do fancy fold cards too. And so I always go on Pinterest looking for something that inspires me. And you know, a lot of us, I don't always follow step-by-step -step directions all the time. I like to play it up a little bit. And, and so this one, like yesterday, I did a sample um, like here, I'll show you real quick. So yesterday I did a sample and I did step-by-step -step directions, which I did. So yes, these do collapse. So this is a pinwheel tower card. So it looks like this. So it's a pinwheel. It goes like this. So I just stamped something I used one of Gina K's little stamp things and it says, so very thankful for you. I just got this from a friend the other day. She had bought some duplicate stamp sets, so she gave me some of hers that she bought on accident. So I'm grateful that she gave me this extra. So I was just playing with it. I know I didn't stamp well, so I was just I was just goofing around. And I wasn't caring how I was stamping at the time because I was just playing around how I was stamping. And I found some old paper in my stash, and I just... So you just flip, and here you can actually write a message on here too. And so yeah, you just flip. So it's like a flippy card. So it's kind of cool. And it does collapse. So this one was actually, the card base for this one was five and a half by seven. And I don't think, and of course this one is, I kind of goofed up a little bit and it was a little crooked. So this one was just a sample. So it's not going in the mail to anybody. It was just a, just a doozy, <laughs> you know, just to see if I can do it. That fell on the floor. I don't care. So anyways, so I am going to show you guys how to make a pinwheel tower card. And I got my four sizes so here is my five by seven card base which is going to make the tower okay and then i have my these are my wing panels and they are five by three and i will show you how to put those on and then i have my little now you don't have to do this. I just did this because this is what I'm gonna put on my card, my tower pinwheel card. These are little frames that I cut out of a lemon citrus cardstock 12 by 12 cardstock pad that I got at Michael's a while ago, like over a year ago. I have so many, I have quite a few 12 by 12 stuff over there that I've not used a lot of. And so I thought I would use some of these frames to put on a guy card to put citrus stuff because he lives in Florida. He grows pineapple and he likes citrus stuff. So I thought, oh, why not? You know, it's like, I don't have a pineapple fruit and I'm using um, 
this is what I'm using. I'm using Gina, Arena K's, the stamp and die set that she designed. Um, her, uh, find the sweet in this hour stamp and die set. So I don't know if this is still, cause this was on clearance, I believe last year. So I don't know if this is still there. So I don't know, but I am not using any of the sentiments on here. I have not used all the stamps on here. I mainly use... I've used the watermelon before. I use the strawberry a lot. I use the orange. Except for I think I messed up on the orange. And so I have a lot of white on here. I don't know where I went wrong. And then I also um, used her... Um, I used uh, these. I have these. They're called um, the Thermo Web. Raina K Electro Pop Neon Glitz Gels. And when I opened them up, the le lemon one and the orange one were a little bit on the rough side. But all I had to do was stir them up a little bit and they were fine. So they were okay. So I just, I got all this stuff done ahead of time because I didn't want to do a really too long of a video. So I just, Wanted to get all this stuff done in advance before. So I'm gonna put all this stuff aside, set this stuff aside. So let's go ahead and score this and we'll show you guys how. So we have this, we have this. So we are gonna score, oh, there it is. <laughs> so we have this, make sure you guys can see that. And then I, um, I know that video that I posted the other day on Spellbinders, I posted it the wrong way. <laughs> it was supposed to be landscape instead of portrait. So I, I boo-booed, mistakes happen, and I'm sorry about that. But Spellbinders is still having their huge awesome sale. So if you guys want to get in on that, the... The link will be down below in my description box, and I will get that in there as soon as I can. And um, yeah, everything that is on their huge biannual sale. I know you guys want to get in on that. I know I did. I'm glad I did. <laughs> yep. I was happy I did. Because I got three items, and those three items I got were all under $5. I was like, yay! I was so happy. Yeah. So, anyways. Yep. Okay, so this is our card base, this orange one. This is actually this bundle of colors I picked out are from a citrus card, stock, card base, actually to be exact. We are going to score these at one. So we're going to score it at one inch. Okay. And I'm going to turn it over. And then we're going to score it again at two. I just like to score it twice to give it a good score. Then we're going to score it again at Three. And then we're going to score again at four. Okay. Well, we got that done. So, I'm going to take that. I'm going to put my scoreboard down. We don't need that right now. So we're going to burnish the score lines. So, yeah, uh, we all know how to do that, right? So just go like this. I'm assuming that's what burnish means. And then we're not going to go mountain valley or mountain valley. So then we're going to fold this again this way. Uh, 
I could do it this way. And then we're going to go again this way, the third one. And then we're going to do a fourth one. So this card, um, a bunch of people on Pinterest were making these pinwheel cards. And um, one of the gals I watched on YouTube made one because I had all the other pieces cut out. I was like, how do I, I wrote all the directions down and I was like, how do I put this together now? How do I do this? <laughs> and so yesterday I was like, okay, I need to, I need to find a video on how to make it. So I found this gal on YouTube named Linda something. I'll find her again. And, and I will insert her link. Once I find it, I will try and put it into my description box because I have this new app on my phone called Adobe Rush now and it will allow me to help me do better videos on YouTube. It will help me to speed up the process or it, and it will help me edit my videos. It can help me delete stuff I don't want. It can help me add a fun eye attracting description and I put it up there on the screen for people to see. So I'm hoping that this will help me get more people to my video because I'm trying so hard to become a guest designer or be on a design team type thing. So that is my goal. So now that we have all these scored and all that, you see that we have all these four things scored. We are going to just make a tube out of them. Well, actually, all you do is just do this. So it's just like this, really, is all it is. So what we're gonna do, as you see this flap right here, I'm gonna go right here, I'm gonna take some double-sided tape. Let's see if I can get it. I'm gonna put it right here on this, right here. And we're just gonna, all right. Like that. And that. And then we're just make sure that's even, Steven. Okay, that's on. And now we don't need this piece, okay? We don't need it. We can take that off. So what I do is, I think what I'm gonna do, instead of trying to cut it with scissors, because I cut mine yesterday with scissors, I'm just gonna cut it with the paper slicer and get it close to the edge as possible because I didn't see, oh no, that's not gonna work. You know what, that's not gonna work. I don't, oh wait, no, I can flatten it out. Never mind. Duh. Ah. I'll probably delete that from the video. So we're going to just flatten it out, y'all. Okay, so just flatten it out a little bit. I'm going to cut that off. Let's get as close to the, let's see, without getting this fold line. I'm going to go, let's see, without. Because really, you don't need this flat extra piece of skin on it. So, let's cut this off. Just don't need that. Okay. Alright. So, we just need that uh, tube. That's it. Okay. So, now, we have... 
we have these for. So I'm not going to use glue because, well, yeah, I don't know what would be faster. Maybe glue. Let's use glue because then I can, I can actually straighten it better because yesterday I used tape and it, it, uh, I don't know, didn't allow me to straighten it out very good. So maybe if we use our glue, we can do better at straightening it out. So let's go ahead and just use some glue. Use a little bit of Barely Arts glue. It doesn't take much for Barely Arts. Okay. And then we're going to go, let's see. Okay, no biggie. Right? Just like I wanted to do. It's okay. We'll just, we'll just, can you just cut this at seven by five? Sorry about all the noise outside, but I can probably take that out of my video. Okay, I'll turn this around, cut it by five. Okay, and then we're gonna cut these other two at five by three. These two panels, five by three. Flip it. Can't believe I messed up. board again. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Okay, so we're going to score at one. Score at two. Score at three. And score at four. or burnish or whatever you say that word. <sighs> oh, it feels so horrible. I am so sorry, you all. Okay, let's put tape on this side. It's just easier to do it this way and then when we get to that point we'll just cut that other part off since I'm pretty sure that's what they did no don't. Okay, so make sure this makes a two, but not some foreign object on me now. Okay, we got our tube, right? Why does this have to be so complicated? Why did it, it was so easy yesterday? Okay. Okay, let's cut 
this piece off. Of course, maybe I should leave this on until I don't know. Okay, let's just do this again. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do two on opposite ends and do the other two going the other way. So that is how that looks. So let's try this again. Try and make it straight as I This way. There we go. See, now I figured it out. Okay, now I think we got it. I just figured it out. Okay, so we can kind of fold this down a little bit. getting it. <laughs> now it's looking like it's supposed to look. Oh gosh. Okay. And now before I glue this on, I want to make sure I'm doing this one right. Okay. Now we're doing it. Okay. That goes on that way. Good, 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 good. Okay. So I just fold it down. I can't believe I messed up on that other one. I was like, what in the world am I doing wrong? I don't know where I went wrong. Okay. And you can actually make these different sizes too. is really fun. Okay, now we got it. <laughs> oh, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay, just want to make sure. Let me get that piece of glue blob off my Fairly arts glue thing. You could use a tape gun to do this too if you want. You don't have to use glue. You don't want to use glue. 
I do have a, a scotch tape gun, but I have a, I'm in a war with my tape gun. We are in a battle with one another, so it's, I'm about at World War II with my tape gun. Um, him and I are having issues with one another, so. And if anybody else has a, a Scotch advanced tape glider, please let me know what you do to keep your tape from sticking to the wheel because I like to, okay, now we got it. Yay, it's a miracle. Woohoo! <laughs> this video is gonna be a lot longer than I thought it was just to make a simple card and we messed up in the first one. Okay, so there, see how that, you know, So now we get to put the rest of it together. So now we have our, uh, so see, these directions here say you have to cut all these other layers plus designers, Siri papers. So this came from a Stampin' Up directions. So I, I don't do Stampin' Up. I don't have a bunch of that stuff. So, I mean, you can use other designer series papers of whatever your choice is, like Spellbinders or Cricut Papers or Alt New Cardstock or whatever you have. Or, you know, uh, Pink Fresh, <laughs> Pick a Fence Studios, whoever. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to decorate some of these frames. So I'm gonna figure out which frame I want as my uh, thing. So I do need to, uh, I think two of them are going to have fruit on it and one will have happy birthday and a piece of fruit, citrus fruit on it. So, I need to get a happy birthday stamp, and I believe I have one right over here with Gina K. Yep, happy birthday to you. Yes, I do. So let's do that real quick. I do have that. See, good old Gina K designs. Happy birthday to you. We'll use this one. So I'm not going to use the. Uh, I'm just going to use my little stamping block. So I'm going to use this. I think I'll use this one. Happy birthday to you. And because this one has not been used yet, I rub it on my wrist because it's got that new stuff on it. it. Takes that new pigment stuff off. And then I'm gonna use Let's use, uh, let's go ahead and use, let's take this little foam pad. I'm gonna use Sandy Beach. That's also a Gina K ink color. Oh, I thought that said joy on the bottom. I was like, did I grab the right stamp? Okay, so I'm stamping happy birthday to you. There we go. That looks good. Well, let me help wipe. wipe it off with my little microfiber towels, washcloths. I got a big bunch of them at uh, 
pack of 12 of them at the... At, what's the name of that store? Not the container store, but at the... Starts with a G. They're connected to TJ Maxx, the something something store. I don't remember now. Got my little dome, little, I love these little foam domes for inking. These are so much fun to use. I love them. You can get them anywhere now. They're so much fun. So I just put it in the bottom. It's nice and snuggly. Of course, it sticks out though. That's okay. Okay. All right. Now we got happy birthday to you. Got that done. So now we're going to decorate some fruit. So let's do a, let's do a strawberry. So let's put our strawberry together. So I used some of the Glitter Glitz gel, the red, just a little bit because I didn't want to take away the color of the strawberry. Really, too much of the strawberry. Because if I would have put too much on, then you wouldn't be able to see all the seeds in it, in the strawberry. And I did, uh, I used uh, Tim Holtz's um, raspberry, picked raspberry for the strawberry color. And then I used his brown, one of his brown colors for the seeds, because the sandy beach was just too light. So sorry, Gina K. I just could not use Sandy Beach for seeds. They were too light. And black, I thought, were too dark. So I couldn't remember. We've had strawberries before. We grew strawberries. I couldn't remember if they were black seeds. But like, I don't think they're black seeds. I think they're a little brown. But not too horribly dark brown. And not... And not... Uh, Not, um, not, uh, you know what? I should have played with this first before I put it together. What was I thinking? <laughs> That's okay. We're not going to use the leaves for the strawberry anyways. So we have a strawberry there. Uh, let's go ahead and put um, okay got that let's do this let's put our lemon slice and an orange slice here I'll do that yeah let's do that that looks kind of cool And then I put, I put Spellbinders, um, no, Spectrum Noir's Glitter Glitz Gel, not Glitter Glitz Gel, I got Glitter Glitz Gel on my brain, Spectrum Noir Glitter Pen on the Lemon Slice. <laughs> oh, I've got Glitter Glitz Gel on the brain today. Yeah. Okay, let's put an orange slice here. I used to one of the Rena K's dies with a circle, but it to cut too much white around it. I don't know. I don't know. I guess that looks okay. 
<sighs> that one's done. We'll set that one off to the side. Okay, now let's do our lemon and we'll use the leaves with the lemon. I kind of like that. I used a lot of, I inked it with Gina K's, one of her yellows, her bright lemon yellow that I used. And then I used um, used her there. I kind of like that. Oh yeah, like that. There we go. Yep, just like that. I can remember that. Oh, of course I can remember that. Okay. So off like that. And then this one. Still looks pretty good, don't you think? I like that. It looks pretty cute. So, but I used her yellow for the lemon, and then I used the yellow um, Rita K's glitter neon glitter glitz gel. Okay. And I didn't use too much. I tried not to use too much because if I used a lot, it would take forever to dry. But the stuff was a little on the dry side already and I just started up quite a bit and it actually moistened back up again. You know, that's what happens when you live in a mile high city. You know, when you're a mile high up above sea level and stuff kind of dries quick and it's like God, i'm not made out of moolah and i can't just keep buying stuff all the time but i did see a video once where you just add a tiny bit of water and you can moisten it back up a little bit but i was kind of afraid to add water okay so now we got our things made oh you know what i still have to put on here love blah 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 but I can still do that on these back side panels because you can decorate these undersides too. So these are just for the front panels. So let's, um, what should we do first? Happy birthday to you or should we do, uh, should I do a strawberry or a lemon? Oh, Let's do happy birthday to you. Let's just do that. Did that. So we're going to go, you want to put it on the big side, because if you put it on the small side, Make sure we're straight. No. It's easier for this card to go this way than this way, I guess. I mean, I guess you could go this way, but you wouldn't have enough room to put stuff. So I kind of like going this way. Okay, so now we're going to flip it over. And let's go, I guess we can do the strawberry next. But that's why they call this a 
pinwheel tower card. I mean, you can add all kinds of fun stuff to this card. Now we're adding the strawberry. I'm gonna probably add some gems to this, I think. Okay, now we're gonna add our orange and lemon slice. I don't want to make it too feminine, but I still want to keep it masculine too. So, but he loves his fruit, his citrus stuff. He loves his iced tea. Loves sitting out on his back patio in the hot sun. He loves it hot. The hotter the better, he says. <laughs> sitting outside. He loves sitting out in the hot sun. I'm like, yeah, you're crazy. But they each their own, I say. Okay, and then we can put the lemon. I kind of like adding all this stuff in little picture frames. It looks kind of cute that way. There you go. So now we have happy birthday to you. A strawberry. The orange lemon slices. And then the lemon. So that is how you make a pinwheel tower card. So again, you cut it at seven by five and you score it, your card base, the tower, which is your card base, you can cut it at five by seven and you score it at one inch, two inch, three inch, and four inch, and then you fold it into a, you, you burnish all your, your scores, and then you fold it into a tower. And then it looks like a pinwheel. And I'm sorry we messed up at the beginning there. So I will have to edit my video and figure out how to do all that. And all that, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will probably add some more stuff to this card and write on it somewhere yeah on the smaller ends probably and we will talk to you later and I will make another card probably later maybe I'll do a Halloween card tomorrow because I got to do a contest so anyways I will talk to you all later and yeah you guys have a great rest of your day. Talk to you later. Love you all. Bye.